Oh, okay. A little more sanding out here. Oh man, beautiful. That's gone. That seam is gone. One more to go, guys. Excellent. Push it nice and tight. Let that AC do its job. Give it a hit there again. Beautiful. Yep, looks pretty good, fellas. It's going on real good. After this video, I'm going to go ahead and apply some filler around here and let it dry overnight. And tomorrow, when I get up in the morning, I'm going to go ahead and uh, break that head up. There we go. Hat not too far out. Gotta make sure that that back needle goes straight up. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, tell us. Uh-oh, do not again. That's not held very long. Beautiful. We're good now, guys.
right there. Beautiful. Okay, fellas. And uh, I need to clean up my workstation real good before I proceed any further. I'm getting, getting really clouded out here. And I like to be able to have a nice clean workstation to work on, guys, so I can be able to work on models. I'll bring a few slides over here, give you guys a little uh, exposed view assembly. That wing fits about like this. And the other one plugs in over here. And there you go. Back this camera up a little bit. See ya. There it is, fellas, right there. That's how it's gonna look like when I get the wings on, so you know it's gonna be a big airplane. Here's my hands. It's a huge, big girl. No mistake about it. Definitely a C-124 Globemaster. Pop those wings off. And uh, do some more filler. I'll be it. Okay, gentlemen. I think I'll call this a wrap for this evening. And uh, I shall continue with this tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow, I'll resume back on the uh, Gavo Shackleton, my air fix. Let's see how far I get along on that one. Okay, guys, I'm going to bring this camera out of yours truly and finish up this here video. Okay, here I am, fellas. All right, gentlemen, that, that about... Uh, that about wraps it right there for this evening. Now, I don't know how short or how long this is, but uh, it's probably two parts instead of three. But we'll see. I've got the sand down that fuse. i got a lot of work to do, fellas. Got to get these nacelles all squared away for the night and uh, get them all filled, ready to go. Okay, guys, so stay tuned tomorrow for the continuation of the Globemaster online build. And at that, the Admiral Shackleton will follow. And uh, this concludes video number three for the online build of my C124 Globemaster by Adam Grand 172. And I'm going to write them people or email them and tell them, hey, you guys, you guys messed up my kit. Uh, and. Uh, We'll get some kind of results from there. And the way I look at it, I can't see anything wrong with it. Just, uh, just the idea of having all those intercoolers that they should be done on all the bottom of the wings. But I guess that's what they did, fellas. They uh, gave you two different versions of cows on here. They gave the A and the C. And they didn't give you enough for the A or the C. So, anyway, make a long story short, fellas. That's about does it. Okay, man, enough chatter. It's time for you to get off here right now. You guys take care of yourselves, fellas. We'll catch you on the next video tomorrow, so stay tuned tomorrow for video number four. Online build of Hennegrand 172 C124 Glowmaster. And this is Frankie Day signing off. God bless each one of you fellas out there. And happy modeling. Please subscribe. Make mama happy. And uh, be good. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow, boys. It's Frankie Day signing off. Bye, fellas.